already on your call. With the recent acquisition of the world's first autonomous AI combat drone, the US Air Force has ushered in a new age of warfare. In this video, we will take a look at the MQ-28 Ghost Bat, a powerful drone equipped with advanced AI capabilities that enable it to react quickly and accurately to changing battle conditions. This revolutionary technology will enable the U.S. military to better protect its personnel in dangerous missions and provide a rapid response to threats across the globe. As this technology continues to evolve, it will be instrumental in transforming the way wars are fought and in protecting our nation from potential enemies. Let's take a closer look. After years of anticipation, the MQ-28A Ghost Bat finally made its debut to the public in May 2020. This revolutionary military aircraft marks a major milestone for Australia as it is the first aircraft to be designed, engineered, and manufactured in the country in more than half a century. In Queensland, the MQ-28A Ghost Bat, formerly known as the Loyal Wingman, was unveiled at the Royal Australian Air Force's base Amberley. As a symbol of the aircraft's unique sensors and intelligence, Ghost Bat was chosen as a fitting name for this pioneering capability. It is well known for teaming up in packs to detect and hunt using intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. U.S. Air Force officials are now considering Boeing's MQ-28 Ghost Bat drone as part of the service's strategy to combine an unmanned platform with the NGAD fighter. In order to replace once-in-a-generation mass-produced fighters with smaller batches of iteratively updated platforms of various sorts, the Next Generation Air Dominance program is using digital engineering and smaller batches of aircraft. Frank Kendall, the Secretary of the Air Force, previously made a suggestion that the Ghost Bat might be a helpful tool for the U.S. Air Force as it looks to understand how collaborative combat aircraft or semi-autonomous combat drones might interact with the service's fifth and sixth generation fighters. As part of Boeing's Australia's air power teaming system, the Ghost Bat has been in development for the Royal Australian Air Force since 2019. Not long after, Lieutenant General Clint Hynote, a senior Air Force official, told Breaking Defense on September 20th, 2022, that the service is getting ready to take delivery of a drone prototype through the Pentagon's Research and Engineering Office, the Office of the Secretary of Defense, or OSD. The development program takes advantage of advances in digital engineering, modern manufacturing, and distinctive Australian supply chain technology with a quick development timeline of about three years from initial design to first flight. As part of its first flight test, the MQ-28 took off and flew a planned route at different speeds and altitudes last March. According to High Note, the first MQ-28 Ghost Bat may not be ready for combat just yet. The U.S. Air Force is set to test Boeing's MQ-28 Ghost Bat to learn how to operate unmanned aircraft alongside fighter jets. By the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more videos. The U.S. Air Force did reveal in August that Boeing had entered the country with at least one M28 Ghost Bat for unknown purposes. The timing of the various official statements makes it possible, if not highly likely, that this drone is the one that will support U.S. military research and development efforts. There are not many details about Ghost Bat's general specifications. Boasting a relatively small size, the MQ-28 Ghost Bat has a length of 11.7 meters and a wingspan of 7.3 meters. Its empty weight is estimated to be surprisingly light, no more than three tons in total. The 3,700 kilometer flying range of the Ghost Bat, which is twice as far as the MQ-9B, is undoubtedly its main benefit and an essential feature for Australian requirements. While the aircraft is subsonic, supersonic speeds are possible during a descent. In a new category of drones, the MQ-28 utilizes onboard systems that incorporate artificial intelligence. The wings are one-piece and detachable. As a result, the drone can be dismantled and carried in a conventional 40-foot shipping container. The C-17 cargo plane is then likely capable of carrying up to four MQ-28A drones. The engine is a VLJ, very light jet category engine. According to Boeing, it was created for very light passenger aircraft. This criterion is met by the Williams FJ-33 with 6.7 kilonewtons of thrust and the Pratt & Whitney Canada PW-600 with 7.2 kilonewtons of thrust. But of course, military variants could have a higher draw price and shorter overhaul intervals. The Ghost Bat's nose portion may be swiftly removed and changed between flights, allowing pilots to modify modify the aircraft's capabilities in accordance with the mission requirements. In addition to publicly displaying one of the drones equipped with an infrared search and track system in the nose earlier this year, the RAAF is actively conducting ground and flight testing with examples it has already acquired. The Air Force is looking specifically at this modularity and adaptability as it imagines a time when robot pilots would fly alongside humans and that models will be numbered in years rather than generations. 
According to a deal worth 115 million Australian dollars or 79.3 million US dollars, which Boeing Australia announced on March 2nd, the Australian government would co-develop an extra three ATS platforms. Seven new MQ-28As have been ordered, according to Peter Dutton, as part of a further 454 million Australian dollar investment in the Loyal Wingman program, with the first MQ-28As being put into RAAF service by 2024 or 2025. This brings the total number of ghost bats ordered up to 10. The drone's manufacturer, Boeing, claims that it will have intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance sensor packages, and that it will be able to perform scouting missions ahead of other aircraft, as well as recognize incoming threats. Robotic wingmen, such as the ghost bat, replace or strengthen human wingmen, that is, pilots who support the leading aircraft in the second aircraft. In a two-member formation, leading and guiding aircraft, the job of the wingman is to defend the leading aircraft while increasing situational awareness and firepower. Naturally, the lack of a pilot is the benefit of robotic wingmen. Long and expensive pilot training takes years to complete. The replacement of lost pilots is challenging. Robotic wingmen, on the other hand, may be sent on the most perilous missions without any fear and even sacrificed for greater aims. Using the ghost bat as a possible test bed, researchers want to demonstrate how to incorporate combat drones into a fighter wing's routine task, including mission planning, battle management, and sustainment. Its primary objective is to provide surveillance and reconnaissance, but it has the capability to conduct electronic warfare as well. This aircraft can be individually outfitted with all kinds of sensors and systems to cover various aspects of a mission. It is designed to be used as a component of a hypothetical swarm. Imagine that. Boeing has used the digital twin concept to develop a large portion of the MQ-28A in the virtual space, which is both cost-effective and time-saving. The ATS has been designed to boost stealth fifth-generation fighter characteristics and fighter-like performance. The ATS's 2.6-meter-long nasal portion, which is removable, is its key component. A variety of useful devices such as radars, electro-optical sensors, electronic warfare systems, communication systems, or even directional laser jammers or warheads can be concealed by the interchangeable front part, which has a volume of 1.5 meters. During ISR operation, one aircraft, for instance, could be equipped with an electro-optical or infrared sensor or signals intelligence payload, while another aircraft could be equipped with an air-to-air -air loadout to act as an escort for the MQ-28A with ISR capabilities. Flight testing has already been conducted with two prototypes. Six prototypes in total were tested in the air by the Australian Air Force. According to projections, the testing will be completed around 2025, at which point serial manufacturing will start. The US Air Force has not yet decided which drones it will eventually purchase under the CCA program, noting that the Air Force Research Laboratory, Navy, and the Office of the Secretary of Defense are all testing new drone technologies. As the Air Force approaches holding an official CCA competition, which the Pentagon has stated it expects to start in the 2024 fiscal year. More information on how the MQ-28 is being used may become known. Secretary Kendall also referred to this project as a black program and stated it would be kept top secret. What do you think? Is the MQ-28 Ghost Bat going to be the US Air Force's newest addition to NGAD? Let us know down in those comments. Thanks for watching, and to see more from Military Minds, remember to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you next time.